After a small but unplanned break in our Deutschberg scheduling, we return with a league game against one of the historical best teams in the country, and then a cup game against one of the current best teams in the country. Welcome back. We find ourselves just inside the bottom half, which we're not best pleased about. We have Schalke to kick off the episode, who are currently in 6th place, and then into the game against Bayer Leverkusen. We've got a few games uh, which haven't been the best, if we're honest, since the last episode. But just before we jump into those, if you could do me the favour, like and subscribing, that would be beautiful. Going through our previous fixtures, we started off with a 2-2 draw away against Augsburg, a 5-3 win at home against Holston Kiel. We, we're trying to persevere with this kind of 5-2-3. It seems to be doing a job, uh, at this point, anyway. Followed that up with a 3-0 loss away against Darmstadt, a 3-1 win at home against Regensburg, a 1-0 loss away against Werder Bremen. For our friendly, I thought it would be a good idea to play against a team in the weaker division, get us a good result, and get the, uh, get the, get the morale back up. We lost 1-0. Our first league game of the new year was a 1-1 draw away against Nuremberg, and most recently... A 1-0 loss at home this time against Hamburg. This is this is kind of what I'm saying. The whole 5-2-3, it's not working very well at the moment. I'm going to persevere with it with these two games because I've had some slight tweaks to like player roles. But if it doesn't provide us with anything of merit in these games, then we're going to have to think of another formation. For the game against Schalke, we have Hag in goal, Ndoy, Jankovic and Parsons as our back three. Esposito and Ferranda with our uh, wing-backs. Uh, Volitz is moved up to kind of that deep-line playmaker on defend. Sturm is alongside him with Nupert and Jerry outside of Leonardo up top. Schalke have the ball in their midfield. Angel Gomez pops it out to the right wing where Fish has picked it up. Um, I'm going to start my conversation about Pearson because they're not going to score now. That's the reason. Uh, Parsons is the uh, centre-back that we signed off the next-gen list like two years ago from Black... No, it wasn't Blackpool. It was Bristol City. They've scored. Um, here, hopefully, he he will actually come out and do decent for us. I think we ended up paying about a million pound plus in compensation. But he's already squeezed into our first team, and he's, what, 18 now? So he should be decent for us. Just depends if he wants to keep letting guys just run past him like he's not there. Sturm picks up the ball, puts it out to Nupa on the right side. Our captain. I'm not sure if he's club captain, actually. I don't believe he is. Uh, he's got the ball back on the byline. No, oh, he's gone down. It's definitely not a penalty, though. So let's not waste our time. Vegkamp, Nanasi, and a brilliant interception there from Sturm. So we've got the ball back. We're going we're gonna to attack. We're going to score. That's not what's happened. It's definitely not what's happened. Um, I'm kind of talking myself into doing formation very similar to this. Dropping the fullbacks in, moving the centre, kind of centre-back, up into the holding mid-roll. It's like your normal 4-3-3. Um, let the fullbacks still go inverted. I don't think that's dissimilar to what um, Man City do, actually, but um, I'm inclined to give that a shot. We'll see whether it's a good idea or not. Hag for us absolutely batters it up towards Jerry on the left side. He's seen literally nothing of this game so far. Kruger's been, uh, well, I was going to say put through. That was being very generous to the pass. Uh, Nanasi back to Vegkamp out to Bosniak again. I'm, I'm really not sure to take that one. Uh, Angel Gomez made himself a bit of room. Oh, and a, pulls a decent save at the goalkeeper. I have made those changes at half time. Um, goalkeeper, we swapped him to be a sweep keeper. Why not? Uh, fullbacks, we've just dropped back, kept them on their individual kind of attacking and supporting roles, left them as inverted wingbacks. We've taken Ndoy out. I'll come to his replacement shortly. Uh, Volitz, I've moved back from centre mid to cover the gap. Deep line playmaker still, same role, just a little bit deeper. Nupertz came in from the right wing to play one of the uh, two centre mids. I'm just playing them as centre mid at the moment. Might tweak those roles at some point. Uh, we've got Leonardo and Jerry out on the wings now as a inverted winger and a wide target man. I think that could work. And then we've brought in Vasilyevsky up top for Andoy. So we've taken out our centre-back and brought in a striker. So even that alone is a little bit more attacking. Gomez with a corner. Puts it towards the back post and it's just unchallenged. Why is he unchallenged? 
Sturm's the one that's walking away. I'm sure he's not even that short. Let me have a little butchers. Six foot one. It's just, I'm going to put it down to Kruger's heading. Um, bonus, we've had one whole shot and it was on target. We have Viborg taking the throwing. He's a sub. Uh, I've brought him in for Jerry on the left wing and we've pushed Ferrander forward uh, to be an inverted winger. There we go. Um, and I believe I've made another sub, but I can't remember who it is. No, it isn't. I was going to make one, but I didn't. I might make that quite shortly. But he has only taken like five minutes after pushing Ferrander forward to see him score for us. Um, I don't know how related that is. Seems to be a relatively work goal. It's more just kind of overloading than good play, that one. Less than 10 minutes now. Uh, I have made the third sub. I've brought in Junior for Leonardo on that right side. Uh, we've got Ferranda on the free kick. I know he can hit him. I, I, I thought he pulled a decent save out of the goalie. He didn't. He didn't at all. Froming with the ball in the middle for Schalke. Puts it out towards their left side, but Esposito makes the uh, interception. Volitz, Sturm, Junior. He's got a few bodies in front of him, making runs forward. He's managed to get his way into the penalty area. Puts the cross in, and Vasilevsky pokes it in. That is incredibly fortunate, but I'm taking it. Brilliant run here from Junior. Invert, what is it, inside forward he is. And he's doing all this madness. Gets his way wide, puts it across. Goalkeeper and defender kind of stumble over each other, and Vasilevsky does what he does. He's a poacher by heart. Looks like we've got another bit of taste in us going on. Kruger has the ball for Schalke. Froming. Does anyone want to get that ball off him? He's just had a pop. Fair enough. Only the one minute of allocated time left. Do we fancy sneaking a winner? Because I'll be rather pleased. It doesn't look like that's going to be the case, does it? No, it wasn't the case. However, however, with our changes, it, um, uh, it looked quite good, you know? I have implemented those few changes for our game against Leverkusen. So we're going with Hag in goal, Esposito, Jankovic, Parsons and Viborg as our back four. We've got Volitz playing just ahead of them as a deep line playmaker. Two centre mids on attack with Ferranda, Leonardo as inverted wingers and inverted forwards, inside forward. And then we've got Jerry playing up top. I was going to play Vasilevsky, but he's just got a cold, so he's a bit sniffly. Uh, Ferranda is out there on the left playing for us against the team that bought him from us for about 10 million plus 50% and then loaned him back to us. Viborg has the ball in the middle. Volitz into Sturm. All the way through to Jerry. He whacks it out to the right side towards Leonardo, who was never getting that ball. Mingeza. I don't think that's a guy that's played for us. I think his name just sounds familiar. Uh, Jankovic wins the header, knocks it to Volitz. Uh, Olivia, Esposito. All the way out towards Ferrander on that left side. But he's never going to pick it up. He's made an interception though. Beautiful work. Sturm, Leonardo, back into Ferrander. Ah, oh, he nearly did it. I don't know what happens with that. Obviously, he scores. We celebrate. But what do you do if you're the club who own a player who then knocks you out of a cup? You'd be quite miffed. I've got kind of a high press on. I'm trying a little bit of something different. I'm trying to line down the way of kind of like Man City's tactic, but with uh, players that are considerably less talented. Delaf oh, no. De La Fuente put his cross in, and somehow, even though my goalkeeper dived to it, Verts managed to beat him, which is a shame. Um, I had moved us to cautious, but I'm going to move us now to positive after this goal. Bit annoying that that just bounced off Viberg's heel and went back to him. But De La Fuente puts in a decent cross, and Hag just tried his best, but he couldn't get there. Papetti on the edge of the area. This, this just isn't fair. Have you seen the sort of players that they've got? Caicedo. Back to Mingeza and across to Kraus. If we want to get that ball off them, that'd be beautiful. De La Fuente is on the ball again on the right side. Cuts it back to Nakai. All the way across again. And Jankovic does get the head out for us this time. Naidenov, brilliant name. Ah, oh, can we stop? Can we just stop Verts getting the ball? That would be the easiest thing for us. They just put a cross in and it's just easy for them. I've, because I've got one guy in the middle and four centre-backs. I'm trying to play to, to try and force them central as well. So I'm not even trying to force them wide. And they're just going out there anyway. They don't care that I'm actively forcing them 
Central. They're like, no, 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 no. All stay wide. Hopefully this highlight is us getting a goal back. We can get a second one before half-time. We'll squeeze a winner in the 80th. That sounds like a plan. Ferrandez in the area. Cuts it back across. Adds definitely a penalty. Jerry has the ball for us. Puts it back to Parsons, who knocks it back to Jerry. They're playing a 2-2 between them. Jerry's in. Oh, and he's hit the woodwork. He's still going. Somehow we managed to get a second shot out of that. Parsons over to Ferranda. I'm tempted to go with a kind of flat four midfield again. I did it for a little bit. Played a 4-1-4-1, I think, and it was quite good. So I'm, I'm, I'm inclined to give that a go again. I just don't know quite how I'd make that happen. My issue is now I'm starting to get the kind of bug of wanting to tweet formations all the time. It's not ideal. Ferranda is going through that left side. Oh, and he hits the woodwork as well. Caicedo on that left side. Into Vert, trying to complete his hat-trick. Uh, Pepetti, De La Fuente, whips it across. Oh, goalkeeper. Oh, goalkeeper. I'm trying my best not to blame him. And he's making it really hard for me. I've put him on sweeper keeper. I've never noticed the goalkeeper dive out to try and meet crosses so often. And it's just not good for him. He hasn't made a connection once. I have a slight confession to make. So when I bought this tactic, I didn't in fact force them inside. I forced them outside. So I'm asking our defence, which involves two inverted wing backs from a back four to um, play narrow. Needless to say, they took advantage and they've scored from three crosses. I might be able to shoulder some blame for that loss. However, we look at positives. Mm. Stats alone, we played all right. If we can echo that against teams in our division, we won't have any problem. We shall return now towards the end of March. Give us an idea of where we are. I might come back for the Kaiserslautern and Grupa Firth games, mostly so we can have a little look and see what comes from our youth intake. So I'll be back for that and the following league game. Hopefully, the little tweaks I've made and the ones that I thought I'd made take effect. And we just see loads of little green dots on the screen here. That will be beautiful. But if you have enjoyed today's episode, for some reason, um, please do like, subscribe. Show support on the channel. Be greatly appreciated. There'll be some items uh, on the screen now so you can uh, carry on watching. 